Morning Codgers, welcome to Gunpar's workshop. I'm Loz as always and you're welcome in my workshop. Today is a Sunday, so it's a Sunday waffle. Uh, quite a bit of a waffle. So, what have I been up to? Well, you'll have seen last Tuesday, uh, the start of my Black Friday uh, haul, Tuesday tool haul, and part two will be coming on Tuesday. That's a bit of a long one, and as usual, I cock everything up in the editing suite, and there's some bits of the uh, tool haul that haven't made it into either, so I'll show those today and have a bit of chat about where I'm up to. So, what you'll see on Tuesday is, is my old desiccant dehumidifier that I've been using for the past two weeks in the workshop. Uh, died a death. I mean, it ran 24 hours a day and it filled its tank every day for just over two years. And then it, it just stopped working because it was getting a E7 fault, I think it was, which is the water level indicator and trisomite. I couldn't sort that out. So that's gone to the tip and I've got a new Pro Breeze, I think it is. Dinky little one, simple controls and that's working already and seems to be making a difference because in the two weeks time between the old one dying and me faffing about, I started to get surface rust showing up on my cast iron tabletops. So that forced me to drop the hammer on a new dehumidifier. Uh, I'll be chatting about that on the Tuesday 2 haul. So there's that. I've been thinking about the channel. Uh, I don't know what you guys think and I look forward to comments in the comments section. 800, just over 800 subscribers and you're all welcome. There's about 30 odd regularly poker like for the channel which is all well and good thanks for that and there's the same number comment about a dozen comment every every upload giving me positive feedback and i'm forever grateful for that didn't think i'd get to 800 my mind's starting to think towards the new year and what i'm going to be doing next year and growing the channel i've hinted before that i'm too impatient and too grumpy to start chasing subs for the sake of it and uh, monetization but i've set myself a target for my birthday in february that i would like to break a thousand subs i won't monetize it because it doesn't pay me enough <laughs> i've been talking to some of my other old hodges in small channels and it pays pennies so it's not worth it's not worth chasing that i like doing what i'm doing and i like talking to you guys and, you know, I don't want to uh, impose adverts here, there and everywhere within the body of the video just for the sake of a few pennies. Mind if I get the 10,000 plus, I might. I might. We'll see how it goes, eh, chaps? So I'm pushing for a 1,000. Those of you who have been with me a while uh, know that uh, surprise gets the better of me as the numbers go up. And I've done little giveaways in the past. I think I did one for a hundred and then one for seven fifty. I'll do another giveaway for a thousand. Don't uh <laughs> don't expect anything expensive. Uh I've I've made a box and I'm gonna be shoving stuff in it. There so far I've got a couple of the what are they? the speed tape to create zero clearance inserts for your various devices. I bought a pack for myself and I'll stick a couple of those in. Uh, I'm going to be adding to it and I'm thinking in the terms of measuring and marking out, little things for measuring and marking out. So one of the things that did catch my eye was a a Craig, a multi-tool, uh, and I was looking at it, and then I found 
the Milescraft Exacto. It's a nine in one measuring and marking out tool. And the difference between the Exacto and the Craig one is the Craig only has a single uh, bubble level in, but the Milescraft has two set at 90 degrees. And it's a dinky little thing where the plastic body, a brass nail screw, and a stainless steel six inch measure. It's got built dueling levels, it, it works as a sliding bevel, a depth gauge. It does your 45 degree mitre measurements in and out to 90 degrees. So it, it, it works as a little set square. It'll do your layouts. It's got a recess on the side so you can mark out your reveals to set your framing around your architraves and you can scribe. It does say it does depth gauge, yeah. So it's a nine in one, little dinky one. And because it's cheaper than the Craig one, I got two. So that's mine. It looks really handy, whether or not it wears and becomes a little sloppy on its 90 and 45 degrees, I'll let you know. But I'm putting the one still on its card in the box and I'm thinking of some more measuring and marking, maybe a scribing knife and bits and bobs and a tape measure, uh, a five mil pencil, a deep thing. So I'll be adding to that each week, I'll add something, then hopefully it'll be something nice uh, if and when I break a thousand. So to tell you friends, there's that. So as you'll see on the Tuesday tour haul, I'll be showing, as well as the dehumidifier, I'll be showing myself playing around with the Axminster table saw, bringing it up. Uh, the blade that came with it has a 3.2 mil curve, which doesn't sound that bad. But when I ran it through my new mini crosscut, the, the DIY crosscut sled, it's a rather fat gap. And I, and I fancy a finer cut. So, what you just see on the Tuesday is, I got myself a thin curve fine crosscut blade from the nice and it, it's an Excalibur brand from Axminster Tools. So the idea is to get me a thinner blade. You'll see how that goes on the Tuesday. Spoiler alert! No, I'm not going to tell you. I also got myself, <laughs> but it's not a zero insert clearance blade, but it's aluminium, it matches, it's nice and red, it matches the general purpose uh, wide cut cover that came with the saw, and that's the almost zero clearance, it's a narrow clearance. Uh, very nicely made with aluminium, five holding down holes, very rigid. And each of the, uh, the threaded screw down holes has some little grub screws next to it. So you can actually level it up to get it perfectly flat. So you, you'll see that going on. And to finish off the fine tuning of the table saw, I know, I know, I got myself a table saw aligning jig. That'll be mentioned, but I don't get round to it on the Tuesday, I don't think. Depends what ends up on the editing floor when I'm uh, doing that. So there's that. A couple of small things that didn't make it into the tour hall. I can't remember who showed it. I've got myself one of those cheap Dowlmaster Dowling doohickeys. And it came with a selection of dowels use your words to imply dowels so because i'm going to be using doweling to build the hutch for the mitre saw using the recycled upcycled billy bookcase boards i needed a load more of the eight mil so you, you'll be seeing those used in anger in a project video which is ongoing i'm not showing you the bits for that, but that's that couldn't resist this kerf maker. Now, Bridge City Stools started these off 
Uh, the idea is without struggling with measuring, you can set to you can set the width of your curve on the device and then the width of your I'll demonstrate it when, when I'm doing it at the width of the dados or the, the rebates that you want to on it on and then use it on your a mitre rail to set the perimeters of what you're cutting out and then scoop it out in between so you it, it allows you to quickly do the cross joints dados rebates without measuring and bumping your fence so as i say ridge city tools it's a lovely fidget toy it's really well made this is the Hong Dewey version of Amazon. Undo that. Seems rather complicated, but when it's demonstrated on YouTube, it seems easy. I said capitals, Bridge City, I keep saying capital city, but Bridge City tools that make over engineered and very expensive stuff make this in three sizes. Uh, I think they start at 100 with a pop. Uh, this is much cheaper. I think I paid £25 off the nice Amazon man. Uh, it came very quickly. It comes in a lovely little, what I would call a bucket in size tin. So that's another fidget tool for me to play with when I get around to doing more stuff on the table saw. And lastly, KWB 90 degrees a drill guide. You know, I'm absolutely rubbish <laughs> cooling drills at 90 degrees by hand with this. To be honest, I'm not so good even using the drill press, but I thought I'd get that. They were cheap. It do, loads of people do them. Uh, but, but it's a nice plastic block with metal inserts so you, the drill doesn't wear out and go off 90 degrees and you can do it for, for, for drilling 90 degrees on a flat surface I don't know if you can see it it's got a room there and so you can drill on pipes on the curve so that'll be going in my apron and Hopefully I don't lose it. So there's that. Workshop wise, I'm about to start that project for the hutch using the IKEA a moppy draw sets, as I say, and loads of billy boards that I'm kind of saw down. Now I've sorted the table saw out so it's safe. Riving knife's gone on it finally. Right, that's it. I've waffled on long enough. Uh, I'll be t the garage is still it's still a mess I spend 10 minutes at the start of every video shoving everything behind the camera I might have a big clear out I'm trying to get it so it's nice and neat to pacify my OCDs right guys there it is oh and I've nearly got all my dust extraction sorted out because of those pipes and various fittings I got. I need some 100 mil one-handed spring clamps but they were out of out of stock so that's I'll try and keep it under 15 minutes. I just thought I'd say hello. Please say hello in the comments. I'm getting two or three hundred views per video but only as I say about a dozen comments from 30 odd of you. Uh, the whole point is to get involved. Get into your workshop, tell me what you're doing, and uh, get involved in the two and the in. That's it. Thanks to those of you that have subscribed to my Instagram account. That was something that I, I started years ago, and I never got the hang of it. So I am watching people, the guys who are also posting stuff up who are subscribed I've picked most of those up if I haven't yet 
give me a prod and I'll try and add it. I'll try and get on to the Instagram thing. I'm not very good. It's taken me ages just to master YouTube. I'm still enjoying myself. Looking forward to Crumpus. Looking forward to a thousand subs. And I'll catch you again. I'm off for my cup of tea because it's parky in here. And I'll catch you again. Take care, guys. Have fun in your workshops. See you soon.